What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 13 beta 2 to register developers about a week after releasing beta 1. Now this is also available for public beta testers so you will also get public beta 2 today. And you can see here if we take a look at the size of this update, it is a pretty small update at around 270 to 280 megabytes depending on your device and of course which firmware you are coming from. Of course I came from beta 1 here on my iPhone 10R. And if we go ahead into our settings, go to general, about, and take a look at the build number, you can see there the build number for 13.1 beta 2 is 17a 5831c so of course that c at the end there does indicate that we should get at least a few more betas as expected here with 13.1 if we scroll down a little bit more you will see we have a new modem firmware update as well it gets updated to 2.01.08 so as you can see just a minor update from 13.1 beta 1 which is here on the left beta 2 here on the right that's gonna be the same throughout this video when I show you some of the fixes and the changes in this software so yeah speaking of the changes here in iOS 13.1 beta 2 there's really not anything new there's just a lot of bug fixes so this is iOS 13.1 beta 1 here on my left 13.1 beta 2 here on my right and of course the first thing I noticed in iOS 13.1 beta 2 is the share sheet bug has been fixed we'll go ahead to share right here you can see my contacts finally populate here in beta 2 whereas in beta 1 it was bugged out and it would never show any context there it was kind of just grayed out so that in fact was a bug I know I mentioned in my last video I didn't know if that was a bug or a feature maybe I just hadn't used it enough and shared enough stuff with people but you can see there it is in fact a bug now another change another bug fix I should say in beta 2 comes with inside of the music application and when it comes to lyrics so on iOS 13.1 beta 1 you can see when you went into here into the lyrics to try to view the lyrics in karaoke style it would just not work it would never trigger onto the lyrics right away you would have to click on it and then it would start following along in the song now in beta one or in beta two rather it starts right away and it doesn't have that anymore so the lyrics start playing and it follows along with the song like karaoke style right away and it's not bugged out so that is thankfully fixed here in beta two now another issue that i've noticed in beta one was quick reply i'm going to send myself a message here so you can see quick reply on ios 13.1 beta one you can see you can type but you can't actually click on the x you can never get out of there even if you don't type anything even when you send it you can't click on the X you have to go home to get out of quick reply which is really annoying but now in beta 2 you can see here when I go into the quick reply I can go ahead and click on the X just like so and it's not bugged out another big fix here in iOS 13.1 beta 2 is that you can now pan around and zoom in on wallpapers when you go to make them so in beta 1 for some reason you couldn't even pan around or zoom in at all it was just a fixed image and you could not crop it we also got a fix for the hangouts application so if you are on Google hangouts that did not work at all in beta 1 but now in beta 2 the app will actually open and function properly so yeah other than those bug fixes there's really nothing else new here in iOS 13.1 beta 2 it was a very small update but there are also some bugs that have not been fixed here in beta 2 and the first one I want to talk about is actually CarPlay so I can't show this in my car just because I used it on the way home earlier today uh, but CarPlay still crashes sometimes this happened in beta 1 I was hoping it would be fixed in beta 2 but I still had a random crash on CarPlay today with beta 2 installed but yeah other than those bug fixes there's really nothing else new here in iOS 13.1 beta 2 at least that I've found so far after playing with the software for a couple hours but of course that is expected it was a small update again only 200 and almost 300 megabytes so you can't really expect too much from that now one of the big issues I wanted to talk about with iOS 13.1 beta 1 was that a lot of people were having connectivity issues but me I have not had any LTE or Wi-Fi issues now there was a new modem firmware update with beta 2 so hopefully that does fix some of the LTE issues but I saw people on Twitter people in my comments also talking about LTE and Wi-Fi issues some of those issues include LTE disconnecting and just not reconnecting at all and it's a similar scenario for Wi-Fi as well if you like go out of the Wi-Fi and go back in it doesn't connect I'm not sure I haven't had any of those issues in iOS 13 or 13.1 thankfully but if you've been experiencing that let me know down in the comment section below now as far as performance and battery life here in iOS 13.1 beta 2 it feels the exact same as beta 1 to me of course minus the bug fixes bug fixes always make especially when they're like important things uh, uh, like text messages like quick reply and the lyrics things I use a lot bug fixes like that make an update a small update like this which seems small in nature it makes it such a big update to me because that one bug or those two bugs are were really annoying to me and now I don't have to deal with those on a daily basis so yeah performance is the exact same as beta 1 now battery life I would expect it to be the same as beta 1 as well but I will be telling you guys how that is 
in my follow-up video here in a few days. I will be testing out the software, making sure the battery is still on par with what it was in beta one, which is pretty good for me. So if you're on iOS 13.1 beta one, should you update to beta two? And I say, yes, definitely. Just like I said before, those few bugs do make a difference. Those bug fixes, I should say, do make a difference. And uh, especially if you're having connectivity issues, you always want to update just to try to get that fixed as soon as possible. But yeah, that's pretty much it for iOS 13.1 beta two here. Now, if you find any other features, changes, bug fixes, anything at all, let me know down in the comment section below. You guys know I always check out the comments and reply to you guys down there. And if you want to show me in another way, of course, I do have Twitter and Instagram. You guys do also reach out to me over there. So I appreciate that. And I also appreciate everybody who told me to stay safe during the hurricane, Hurricane Dorian. We did get some very mild effects from it, but I did have to worry about you know, getting sandbags to protect my house and things like that. Had to be prepared if the power went out and things like that. So thank you for sticking with me. That's why the upload's a little bit later today. I did need a little bit more time. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss my iOS 13.1 beta 2 follow-up video. And of course, all my new iPhone videos coming later this month. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.